just imagine that with such a low price, such a cheap price, you're getting a whey protein. So is it really worth the price? Hello guys, welcome to my channel Lifestyle Box. This is Bishujit, and today I'm going to review Big Muscle's new launched product, Essential Whey. So in this video, you will get to know what is this new product about, what are the positive points and what are the negative points of this particular product, Essential Whey, which is newly launched by Big Muscles. So before we starting the video. I would like to let you know that I have not been paid or I don't have any collaboration with Big Muscles. So this is a very honest review from my side. Well, there has been a lot of products of Big Muscle. The first one being Zero, a uh, whey isolate protein. And the next one is Nitric Whey. And now they have launched this Essential Whey. So why it is uh, very famous in the market? It's very famous because of the price. The price of this particular whey protein on its body is $15.99 only. But if you buy from Big Muscle's personal website, that is $9.29. And if you buy it from Amazon, that is $9.15. And if you buy from Flipkart, it is $1.099. So just imagine that with such a low price, such a cheap price you're getting a whey protein so is it really worth the price well we will get to know only after we look into the ingredients now the company claims that one serving is 48 grams okay so whereas in big muscles zero the serving size was only 30 grams and in nitric whey the serving size was 35 grams. So both of these are whey proteins. All right. And this is also a whey protein, but the serving size is 48 grams, which is equivalent to a mass gainer serving size. Apart from this, the protein content is 24 grams per serving. And uh, the fat is three grams and carbohydrate is 17 grams. Is it, it is not visible that's why I have written here if you can see well apart from this the company has also mentioned the amino acid profile which has EAAs essential amino acids SEAs and MEAs now MEAs are not properly clear what it's actually but it should be non-essential amino acids and they have mentioned serine alanine aspartic acid glutamic acid yes. The company has also mentioned added vitamins. Now in added vitamins, they have mentioned vitamin A, D, vitamin B profile, folic acid, pentoic acid, biotin, iodine and iron. Now biotin, iodine and iron, I don't know how they have mentioned it under vitamins, but they have mentioned an another section where they have mentioned added minerals. Now it says magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, sodium and chloride. Whereas iodine, biotin and iron, at least iodine and iron, they could have added in the mineral section, but it's added in the vitamin section. So that, this may be a technical glitch in printing or there, that, there may be some confusion. I'm not properly sure what's actually going on. Anyways, let's see to the ingredients. Now, the ingredients is whey protein concentrate, maltodextrin, coca powder, lactase, sweetener INS955 <coughs> which is a sweetener natural identical flavors and it contains milk as allergens well now if any whey protein has maltodextrin it's a matter of concern because if you calculate the protein yield from this particular container it's only 50% uh, based on the serving size based on the uh, calculations uh, the back-end calculations of one one kg protein which is giving a serving size of a scoop of 48 grams with 24 grams protein per serving so means 50 percent uh, protein is present in this powder uh, in this container but uh, we need to think that 
30, uh, 50% is protein and 50% is the non-protein part in this particular container. Whereas in the other proteins of big muscles, uh, this particular product zero, it was purely whey protein isolate. So 30 grams, uh, 30 gram uh, of serving size had approximately 20 grams of 26 grams of protein and four grams were non-protein uh, non part. And in this nitric whey, this was a 35 gram uh, serving serving size with a protein of 24 grams. Now we need a we have a matter of concern here because the 50 percent uh, is only protein and remaining 50 percent is non-protein. Now why uh, we need to understand that why the price of this product is so much cheap? And I bought it from Amazon with 915 only. So. The main thing is the non-protein part in this particular container is 50%. That's why the price is very low. So I don't think that the name should be essential way rather it should be like some mass gainer which is which can be good for the beginners. But uh, we need to taste it. We need to uh, take it at least for some time to understand the results. Well, now moving on, I will uh, taste this particular uh, flavor of the protein powder present here and the company has made only one particular taste that is the Dutch chocolate so I'm going to unwrap it and see if this is tasting good or not well there is a scratch coupon also you can do it I'm not going to do that but I'm going to first take my protein so I need to open it something let me see if I have something or not this kind of scoop this is a 48 grams scoop so it's very big I cannot add with that so I'll add my zero I'll get the scoop from my zero See, this is the scoop size and one more concern here the scoop says big muscles if you can see but here the scoop is transparent there is no logo of big muscles or no nothing is mentioned in the scoop so company is doing their own pr uh, way of marketing now I always prefer this kind of stainless steel shakers because plastic is not good for health and for environment so you also should uh, take uh, your protein shakes in this kind of uh, stainless steel shakers I'll add some protein I'm adding some protein and I'm going to see yeah it's smelling chocolate now within 10 to 20 seconds this should mix all right so, so as to understand what is the mixability of this particular product. Now you can add milk, you can add peanut butter, you can add some almonds, crushed almonds, banana, anything to increase the taste and the calorie content in this particular protein shake. But I prefer it with only water, cold water. So let's see if it has mixed properly. Yeah. It won't be visible, but I can test and tell you how the taste is actually. Well, let me open it up. The taste is good, but it's flat. So you will not feel that sugary taste. But the taste is really good as compared to the other products. The taste is nice. So I'm going to try this product for at least two months and see what kind of results it's giving me and I'll continuously keep on updating you. So that's all from my side. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like this and I'll come up with more interesting videos. Thank you.